Hello, everybody. It's Little Code Ninja here. So, in the last video, we talked all about operators, which was really cool. It allowed us to do a lot of operations and logic and math and stuff like that. But today, we're talking about something super duper important. I said control was the most important type of code, but this variables is just as important. So, let me explain what a variable is. A variable is like a box. You know how boxes contain stuff in them? Just like that, variables are boxes that have data stored inside them. But I think the best way would be to show you. So let's grab a when green flag clicked. And now let's go to variables. So you can see that we already have a variable here, but I want to show you how to make one. So first of all, we should delete this. So right click and click delete the my variable variable. Now click make a variable. And we're going to call it. How about we call it a uh, cool var, and var stands for variable in programming, usually. So now we have cool var. So there's some things we can do with it. Okay, so if we're setting it to a number, then we can use this to change that number, right? So if we set cool var to, um, let's say, 60, and then we can say, uh, when the space key is pressed. Now I'm going to show you the change. So what set does is it sets a variable to a value. It can be anything. It can be a string, which is text. It can be numbers. It can be booleans, which is true or false. It can really be anything that you can put in there. So if it's a number, we can use change var and change it by, for example, 678. Wow, I literally typed that completely <laughs> randomly. Okay, so as you can see, this is checked, so cool var will show. We can uncheck it to make that disappear and check it to see what cool var is. So when the green flag is clicked, we can see cool var turns 60. In this case, base key is pressed, it's going to change it by 678, which means it's going to add 678 to 60. And there we go, now it's 738. And we can decrease it by some random number, right? Oh, not that big a number, like 565. Now let's press space, and it decreases. So you can see that this is called cool var. So if we ever want to for, like get cool var, right? Say cool var. For example, we want to, uh, when the green flag, when we press the space key, we want to say, now go to variables, click and drag cool var to show your variable. So now it was set to 60 when we press, uh, oops, we definitely want to fix that. Uh, make it so it doesn't make it a, a huge small number, like increase it by 67, right? Now let's press the green flag and we press space. You can see now the scratch the cat also says cool var. He also says it. All right, so now this uh, variable stuff and obviously you have your show variable, hide variable. This shows it, this hides it. So you can like, you can do this within the code without having to constantly uncheck this if you want to hide or show. So that's pretty useful to know. But what variables are really helpful for is remember operators. You can actually see if cool var equals something. So we can go to control and grab an if then. And then we can say if, and then we can go over here to variables, click and drag cool var and say cool var equals 50, for example. Well, if cool var equals 50, then let's go to looks and do a permanent one. And now let's go back to variables and drag cool var. Then we want to say cool var. So what we're gonna do is right now we have it set to 60 and we're changing it by 67. Let's change it by uh, so negative 10, right? Which means it will decrease it by 10, making it 50. So now if we click this and we press space, you can see that it says, okay, change cool var by negative 10, now it's 50. And it'll say, yes, cool var is 50. So we can say cool var. But if we do something like increase it by 567 and click the green flag and press it, Yes, it will change the cool var, but 
cool var is not equal to 50 it's equal to 627 so it won't say cool var this is really really useful to see right store information and based on that information do different things in your program that is why variables are so so important so yeah there you go that is variables however we have one more thing to talk about which is lists because i feel that variables and lists should be used in the same kind of setting so we can put this kind of stuff away and click make a list and i'm going to explain what a list is oh and i didn't talk about this so for all sprites means that all of the sprites can access the variable for this sprite only means that you can only use coolvar inside of the sprite right so if you put for this sprite only then you can only use coolvar inside craft the cat so yeah that's that's a good thing to know so now we can uh, say something here. So let's call it my cool list, just like that. Now we have a cool list and you'll see some things here. So there's some information. Uh, let me just change the X and the Y to zero for tidiness. There we go. So first of all, um, we can probably make cool var. We can probably delete it because we don't need it now. Or I'm showing you lists. All right. Let's click away. So there's some things you can do here. First of all, what is a list, right? A list is a few things. It is like a variable. It can store information, just like variables. However, variables can only store one piece of information, like the number one or the text hello, you know, or the, or the value true, false, the booleans. But it can only store one piece of information. So a list is basically a variable that can store more than one piece of information. So it can store the number two and the string high and another string and a boolean. It can store multiple things at once, which is why it's so, so useful. For example, if you wanted to store a bunch of sprites, right, and their names or a bunch of times and the population of America, you can do that in this cool list because it will be able to store a bunch of different values. So I'm going to show you some of the things you can do. Obviously, you can make it show and hide, show list, hide list. But here you have cool stuff, okay? First of all, you can add stuff to the list. So if we click now add thing, boom, it will add thing, right? And now we can also add a number. So that's a text. Now we'll add a number. See, so it can store multiple things. But you might be wondering, how does it keep track of what's what and where it is so that we can grab it? Well, you can see it has one and two. So all these things have what's known as index. An index tells you when it was added in the list, what number the list is. So, for example, if we wanted to use the index, then we can drag this. So we can say, so I can show you, and we can click item one of cool list and drag. So this will show us number one, which if you remember is thing. So now we'll show that. If we want to show the second item, then we can say two, and now we'll show one, which is our thing. All right, so that's really, really useful for lists. Next up, you have delete. You can delete stuff from the list. So if we wanted to delete uh, let's say we wanted to delete number two in cool list. So now click the green flag and it deletes it. Right? So now let's say we add a bunch of stuff. So we add blah, blah, blah. Right? We just add a ton of crazy values here that don't even make sense for an example of this list. There we go. So now we have a bunch of values. So we can see now, so we could drag item one, three, four, two, all of them. But let's say we wanted to not just delete them one at a time, but we want to instantly delete them all, right? Refresh our list. Then we can use this, delete all of my cool list. Click that and boom, goodbye my cool list. He is just absolutely destroyed. <laughs> now... Let me add a few things here so we can add a bunch of things, a bunch of text, just dud text basically, so I can show you some stuff. So first of all, you have insert thing at one, 
of my cool list. So for example, if we wanted to insert the number six at one of my cool lists, let's click this. So there you go. Now before we had four things, but now it makes this index six and moves everything up a notch. So for example, if we wanted to insert another thing, another thing at um, three of my cool list, which would be right here, click that and it forces everything else to scoot up so that this can be number three. So that's uh, pretty handy and then we can delete everything. Okay, so now I'm going to spam a bunch of things again so that we have some stuff to play with. Next, you have replace item. The insert put, yes, it put made that thing number three, but it moved everything else up a little bit, right? So if this was to be number, if some random value like hello was to be number two, then this would become three and this would become four and this would become five. So it would bump everything up. However, if we want to replace an item, so if I want to replace uh, number three, right? If I want to replace this with hello, with hello, then it will replace it instead of move it. So now you can see it replaced it, right? And then I can replace it back with thing. So now it replaces it. The difference with insert was that you're gonna see right now that if we insert hello um, at number three, right there, it's not gonna delete it. It just moves it down. So that's what I'm trying to say there. And now let's use our brains here and delete. Uh, let's delete number three of my cool list. So there you go. Scratch takes care of the numbering for you. Now we're gonna look at item number of thing in my cool list. So item number of thing in my cool list is, I'll say hello here and say item number of and now let's uh let's just quickly replace item number one of cool list with hello just to set this one up there we go now we have hello over here so now what we're gonna do is it's going to say item number of hello so it's gonna tell you which number is hello is it one two three or four which one has hello in it so we can click it it's going to say one because number one is hello. So that's what item number of does. So we can click the stop sign. Next thing that we have is item uh, length of my cool list. That just tells you how much, how many things there are. So you can see one, two, three, four. So the length is four. So length of my cool list will be four right there, which is useful. Very useful. Now we can see, does my cool list contain blah? Does it contain blah, right? No, it doesn't have blah in here. But does it contain the word hello? Yes, it does have the word hello. And of course, you can uh, hide and show my cool list. Now let's instantly delete all of it. So that is list. That's how lists and variables work. Now let's delete this boy. Sorry if that was a little bit complicated. In the next video, we're going over blocks, which are pretty simple and build on stuff you already know. Can't wait to see you then.